The Berenstain Bears Help the Homeless. Story and pictures by Jen and Mike Berenstain. The Good Deed Scouts were trying to think of a good deed to do. Before they could, Widow McBear came by. Hello, Scouts, she said. I have a good deed for you. That's great," said brother. "What is it?" asked sister. "I have an old house on top of Spook Hill," said the widow Macbear. "No one lives there. It is run down." "It sounds spooky," said the sister to Lizzie. "I want to make it a home for the homeless," said the widow Macbear. "Will you scouts fix it up?" Yes, we will," said the scouts. "Here is the key," said the widow Macbear. "You can start tonight." "Tonight," said the sister. The scouts were scared. Sister thought there might be ghosts. Brother thought there might be goblins. Lizzie thought there might be monsters. But Fred was not scared. It was just an old house. It would make a good home for the homeless, as the Bible says. Fred pointed out, "Rescue the weak and the needy." Good point, Fred," said brother. That night, the scouts stood at the bottom of Spook Hill. I'm afraid there are ghosts," said the sister. "I'm afraid there are goblins," said the brother. "I am afraid there are monsters," said Lizzie. "It is just an empty old house," said Fred. "Follow me." So up Spook Hill the scouts went. Sister, brother, and Lizzie were wrong. There were no ghosts or goblins or monsters in the house, but Fred was wrong too. The house was not empty. Lots of eyes were looking out of the windows. Lots of little eyes, and one pair of big eyes. The little eyes belonged to the bats that lived in the house. The big eyes belonged to Old Tom. He was a homeless bear. He stayed at the spooky old house. As the scouts came closer, Old Tom and the bats grew afraid. The scouts walked across the porch. Crick, crick went the floor. Fred turned the doorknob. Rattle, rattle went the knob. Fred pulled the door open. Squeak went the door. Bats came flying out of the open door. Whoosh! Went the bats. The scouts went inside. They saw two big eyes. Ghosts! Yelled the sister. Goblins! Yelled the brother. Monsters! Yelled the Lizzie. Help! Yelled Old Tom. Everyone, calm down," said Fred. He turned on his flashlight. "It's old Tom," said the brother. "We see him around the town." "Hello, Tom," said Fred. "We are the Good Deed Scouts. We are fixing up this house. Will you help?" Old Tom was glad to help. They started the next day. They hammered and sawed. 
They swept and washed. They painted and polished. Soon the spooky old house on top of Spook Hill looked like new. Widow MacBear came to open the new Spook Hill homeless shelter. She asked old Tom to stay and take care of it. All the homeless bears of Bear Country came to live there. The bats stayed too. They lived up in the attic. Thank you for helping the homeless, good dead scouts," said the widow MacBear. "Thank you for giving us a good deed to do," said brother. As the Bible says, Fred pointed out, "Learn to do right, seek justice, defend the oppressed." Good point, Fred," they all said. <laughs>